Hey everyone, welcome back. This is CC Cycle 2 and Week 22 Memory Work Ideas, At Home Ideas, and Review Game Idea for the week. For math this week, we are learning the commutative law for addition and for multiplication, and it sounds like this. The commutative law for addition states a plus b equals b plus a. The commutative law for multiplication states a times b equals b times a. A plus B equals B plus A. A times B equals B times A. You could also separate those out and just do the um, addition and then just do the multiplication and that would sound more like this. The commutative law for addition states A plus B equals B plus A. A plus B equals B plus A. A plus B equals B plus A. The commutative law for multiplication states a times b equals b times a a times b equals b times a a times b equals b times a okay that is a mouthful but what i usually try to do when i present this commutative law and i don't think i have them here for this video uh, but i usually have a picture of an a and a picture of a B on like cardstock of different colors, two different colors, A and a B. And then as you're singing, you're moving those things, those letters around. So A plus B is the same as B plus A. I hope that makes sense with just my fingers, but um, that is usually how we'll do it in class. And sometimes it's even fun to have a parent jump in, two parents if you can, or the tutor and a parent. And, or even just give each of them to the students and then have one person be A and one person represent B as they're holding up the two letters and then have them stand in one place. And then as you're singing the song, A and B switch places, but they're still the same people. So that's how what you're trying to get through in the commutative law is that A plus B is the same as B plus A and same for multiplication. So I hope that's coming through clearly um, with just my hands, but basically you just want to get the A and the B in front of the class or in front of your group and show that it's the same whether it's A and B or B and A. Okay, that is math. All right, for English, we have coordinating conjunctions and we learn this to fanboys. And we say fanboys because with coordinating conjunctions, the first letter for all of the words spells the word fanboys. And it sounds like this. Fanboys, fanboys. For and nor but or yet so. Fanboys, fanboys. And that is coordinating conjunctions. And that's how we cover it for cycle two. All right. For geography, we are learning about Oceania. And that consists of Australia, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, the Great Barrier Reef, and New Zealand. And so because it's so much of the ocean area, what we will do in class is sing this to the tune of Under the Sea. And then when we go through it on our maps together as a class, we will use these little cute little figurines, I guess you would call it. I have a shark. I've got a little Nemo fish, little... Uh, seahorse, sea star, all the different things that you can think of or that you have in your collection of little critters. I collect these kind of little things just because they're so great for teaching and for making learning fun. But if you have anything like that, any small ocean type creatures, this is a great week to break those out. And we will just use those with our maps as we go around to each of the locations and we'll sing it to under the sea. And it sounds like this. Australia, Great Barrier Reef, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Indonesia. Australia, Great Barrier Reef, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Indonesia. And that's how we're going to cover our geography. All right. For history, we are talking about the fall of communism. So tell me about the fall of communism. We will do this to hand motions can also bring in a visual for history. Visuals are always helpful. I have a link to lots of visuals from CC Connected in the description of this video below. So you can check that out if you would find that helpful. But for hand motions, you can start the similar way that we have been for a lot of our history this week. 
or the last few weeks and start with in 1989. So 1989, the communist dictators. So when you say communist, we'll keep the sign consistent with what we've done with our timeline in the last few weeks. So communist dictators began to fall. Uh, when we say Eastern Europe, we'll take out our E and we'll move it to the East. When Soviet general, make this sign for general, Secretary Gorbachev, we're, when we say Gorbachev, we're going to do a G. So, and we kind of move it forward like this as we say Secretary Gorbachev. Then uh, refused to send, we'll do like this for refused. And then military, M for military. And the sign for aid is to take your thumb on your hand and lift it up. So aid. And that is the hand motions for history this week. Again, you could always um, play the song and use a visual aid or use these motions. Another option, the song is very kind of a serious tone. So you could always do some marching as you sing the song. But of course, always a good idea to introduce it first. Have the kiddos repeat after you so that everybody is becoming familiar with what we're saying. And then those are some ideas for motions. All right. For timeline this week, we have the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. So we're going to do N, A, T, and O for NATO. So N, A, T, and O. Then we have the Korean War. So we're going to make a K and then do the sign for war like we have. And then we have the Mar um, Martin Luther King Jr. and the Civil Rights Movement. We're going to do M, L, and K. And the civil rights movement, you put your hand out and go like this for the civil rights movement. Then we have Jim and Elizabeth Elliot. For that, we're going to do an E. Jim and Elizabeth Elliot, they were missionaries. Missionaries, so we're going to do an M. And we're going to put that M over our heart to their missionaries to Ecuador. Ecuador, you could do another E and shake it on your hand like this. Uh, but they were missionaries, so you come over your heart because they have a heart for Ecuador. Then you have the Antarctic Treaty. And for that, we're going to shiver like it's cold. And then the Vietnam War, we're going to make a V and do another, another sign for war. And the last one is U.S. astronauts walk on the moon. So we're going to do the sign for a astronaut person or a space person. So we're going to take our hands like this and we're going to go up like we're going up in a spaceship and U.S. astronauts. So space person you go like this for person so u.s astronauts walk on the moon and you're going like this slowly like you're walking on the moon and that is all of our timeline for this week okay for science we have what are some ways light is observed and so for that we're going to probably print out and I will put in this video a picture of the visual aid for all the different ways that these lights are observed. I will put that in the description of this video, a link, and then I'll show you here. But basically, we will sing this to the tune of This Little Light of Mine as we take turns pointing to the different types of ways that light is observed. So, what are some ways light is observed? Reflection, refraction, spectrum wave particle. Reflection, refraction, spectrum wave particle. These are some ways light is observed. And that is how we will sing for science this week. That's what the song sounds like. And last but not least, we have Latin. And for Latin, we are still on our first conjugation endings pluperfect tense so we will bring back out our blue ram to remind us that it's flu perfect tense and the first sound is aram which is like a ram so uh, that is how we will cover that passing our ram around or taking turns holding this up as we sing it uh, one at a time for the class and present it and that is all of our memory work i think i've covered everything for week 22. For review this week, we are going to be using our popsicle stick catapults that we are making for science. And so we're going to use those and I will put out on the ground or the table all of these little uh, plates, which will be places of all seven subjects. I've got them all on 
plates like this and we'll use those to take turns shooting our catapults that we make during science. Whatever subject your catapult object lands on, that will be the subject that we'll review and we'll just go around the class taking turns shooting our catapults onto our subject plates and uh, get in as many review questions as we can using those fun catapults that we build during science. Okay, so for some at-home ideas this week, uh, our indescribable devotional, we could do page 22. Uh, it refers to tools, so not a direct tie-in in involving like catapults, but you can see the tie-in and how we use tools, how these things make life easier, and how catapults is one of those tools. And so it's not a direct link, but that might be a good one to read this week in relation to our science. And then another one that you might read is It's Universal. That's on page 156. That would be another uh, indescribable devotional. And then for some other at-home ideas, Magic School Bus has two this week that would be applicable since we're learning about uh, refraction and light and ways that light are observed. One of those is Gets a Bright Idea. The other one is Makes a Rainbow which, side note, it would be a fun idea to make a rainbow at home this week, just a side science project with reflecting on the sun and creating a rainbow at home. But um, makes a rainbow, what that involves light refraction, that's season three, episode seven, and then gets a bright idea is involving light in general, and that's season three, episode five. So those are two episodes from Magic School Bus that would be fun to read this week. Cat in the Hat also has a book about chasing rainbows. You can look that up on YouTube too. It's fun. Lots of time when they have books, there's also a video or a YouTube that you can find. But this is on Light Refraction. It is, you can also find it on Netflix. And it's season one, episode 16 from the Cat in the Hat series. And it's called Chasing Rainbows. So those are three fun ideas to look up and look into this week regarding light and our science. And if you want some fun ideas for eating our geography this week, since we are learning about Oceania, thought it would be fun this week to have or make some pavlova, uh, which interestingly enough, it is named after a Russian ballerina, pavlova. However, uh, both Australia and New Zealand uh, take credit for origination for of pavlova but we are studying uh, australia so that would be a fun thing since both of those areas claim originating pavlova and it's a yummy dessert that uses egg whites and it's kind of crispy on the outside but kind of um soft and like chewable on the end it's it's super yummy a yummy yummy dessert top it with some fruit and some whipped cream and that is my tip for something fun to eat this week for week 22 I will post below if there are any interesting books that we could add on for this week. Of course, reading our Old World Echoes uh, for week 22, always a, a must or a plus, I would say. And then I think that might be everything for week 22 that I have to recommend. So I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, as usual, do not hesitate to let me know or leave a comment below. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you soon in the next video for week 23. Bye.